All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna show you how we make a transition between a standing seam metal roof and a flat roof. And in this case, it's gonna be a standing seam metal roof on a historic building to a box gutter. So we're gonna line the box gutter with the PVC membrane, but we've gotta make a good tie-in between the, the PVC membrane that we install and the new metal, and that's what this video is about. Stick around, and we'll show you how it's done. What's up, guys? My name's Aaron here with Exterior Pro. We're on one of our job sites, and this is kind of a typical job for us in our area. We live in uh, the southern Indiana, Ohio Valley region. So all up along down the Ohio River, you find architecture that is uh, old historic in these old historic towns. That, so the buildings, they, they, there's a lot of standing seam in our area, but there's also a feature that is called a box gutter or a, 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 like a decorative uh, a gutter, an integrated gutter that comes out on these buildings. It's got decorative coordinates underneath. That's very popular in our area. So we had to come up with ways to waterproof these and in particular, we had to come up with a way to waterproof the box gutter and make a solid tie-in to a standing seam roof. Because again, there's a lot of standing seam on historic buildings. So what I've got in my hands, I've got a, a, a piece of a PVC liner. This is what we line box gutters with. So it's a piece of PVC roofing membrane. And uh, it's, it's basically for, for commercial buildings, but we've kind of applied it kind of an off-label use. It works great in these box gutters. So we've done this for years and we're able to waterproof the gutters. The interesting thing about it is how we make the transition from the box gutter to the standing seam, and that's really what this video is about. So, one of the things that we do is we bend a special custom piece of metal to get from that, that membrane liner up into, to make a transition to the standing seam. So, this is a piece of weldable metal, This is a, or you could call it PVC clad metal. This metal has a PVC coating on the top of it, and it allows us to weld a membrane right to this. So we take this and we fabricate this piece in the form of an S. And we'll show you here in a minute. We make it an S, it loops back up, comes back up and around, and this is what we hook our standing seam into. So we're able to set this piece of trim that we made custom out of the weldable metal. We set it and we use the, the S hook that we have to hook in as our, as our cleat. So we're gonna hem the bottom of our standing seam and we're gonna make this S is gonna become our new cleat. And then we're gonna lay our, our new box gutter liner on top of this weldable metal and we're gonna weld the, the liner to this weldable metal and make a, a waterproof tie-in between the box gutter and the new standing seam roof. All right guys, on the front of this building, this, this uh, structure down here, this historic structure, we've already started the panels. What I want you to see is, here's our piece. This is our piece of weldable metal. We've already done the tear off this had a layer of shingles and it had a layer of metal on it. We tore all that off. We put our high temp ice and water out and we've already started our panels. And you can see that we've set our piece of trim, our weldable metal trim, as our cleat. And again, it's, since, it's, since it rounds up, even if the box gutter would happen to flood, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna be able to get behind it because it's a continuous S loop that comes back up. So this is how we use the, the weldable metal as a cleat. Then when we hem our standing seam, we're gonna just drop our panels on. It's got a hem and it's gonna hook right onto this cleat that we've got. And that's what's gonna make the, the seam between the, the, the new standing seam and the box gutter liner. All right guys, so the way it works is we've got a hem, as you can see, and this would be like the same type of hem that would go over the edge of a drip edge or on a, a piece of offset cleat on a valley. It's the, it's the same exact thing. I'm gonna turn the metal panel down an inch and a half. So then we're just gonna take our hemmed piece, we're gonna lay it onto our new piece of weldable trim, drop it on and we're gonna pull our panel right up pull it right into place just like that and that's how we set the panels onto that trim use that trim as our cleat hope you learned something if you did hit that like or subscribe button we'll see you on the next one